Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft from the Hermitcraft server. You guessed it. In today's episode, we are going to finally be building this little um uh, uh, building around me, I guess, or where I'm standing. Uh, I'm going to build it as a uh, as a grocery store. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But before we get to that, there are a few things that I've done around here that you probably wouldn't notice unless I pointed them out to you, so I'm going to point them out to you. I've been putting stuff on rooftops. Huh? Huh? Lots of stuff on rooftops. In addition to that, this one I don't really like very much, so I might change that. But in addition to that, I've also been filling in the buildings that didn't have, like, the neon lights through the windows. I've been putting these guys in, too. So this building's been done, and I think I have two more to do. It actually takes a lot longer than expected. Actually, I have the main, the very first building I need to do that for as well. But this building here needs to be done, and then the building right behind it needs to be done. Terrible flight coordination. Yeah, the building right here needs to be done. I'm not sure what to do about these guys here, like on the ground floor. I might actually have to build like a, a shop looking structure or something. I didn't do it. Yes, you did. Might have to build like some sort of shop inside there so that it looks like it makes sense. Um, But yeah, these two buildings need to be done, and the main one, I guess. But for now, I'm going to show you some decked out action. Whoa, is this, wow, look at that, I got eight decked out coins, in addition, I think I have like 38 total now, that, oh, that's not, that's hermit heads, where's the, uh, there they are, I think I have 38 total now, yep, 38 decked out coins, maybe I can buy a few things, and I've received, I think, four more, perfect, okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute, this is the ocean set, I now have an ocean set for trade, okay, I have, hmm, all right, all right, then we got the B set. Do I have any other B sets? I don't think so. Nether set, nether set. Uh, and then we got enchanting set. Okay, so let's just put the enchanting set here. Oh, oh, oh I missed that. That was already in there. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't see it. There's the enchanting set. End set, dragon set, witch set, nether set. I don't have four of anything yet. There's the B set, and I had one more, right? Where was the other one? Could have Another end set. Okay, okay, hold on a second here. We can make some trades. We've got two end sets. Let's um let's knock that off. Let's put that there. 
Let's put that there. I got two for trade. So maybe we can find somebody that has... Because we got two nether sets and we got two... two ocean, sorry, we got two nether set items and two ocean set items. The other one's poison, witch, dragon, enchanting, bee. Yeah, I think... I think we need to, like, go after the nether set or the ocean set. And if we can trade one of each for one of each remaining, we're going to be really, really close. Actually, we can even trade one of each for two. It, Trust me, it's it's going to be great. Looking to add another one of these guys to my collection. I've got two already buried in pits. That sounds terrible, I know, but that's what it is. And it is what it is, and that's how it is. <laughs> but I've got two already buried in pits. Okay, no, so now, if I could just get this guy to not um, go back, which is easier said than done here. Let's see if I can get him to come a little bit closer to me. Good. Good. He can't come out of there. And now he can't go back in there. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I got something for you. First this. Okay. And now this. Boom. And now we cover you up to make sure you're safe. And maybe even put a torch in there just because you never know. All right, so I got this one. I've got, um, where are the other ones at? I got this one right here. And then I got one buried all the way in here because this guy followed me in to my house while I was trying to sleep. And I tried to get away from him. And this is as far as I had to go. So he's in there somewhere. Uh, so three of them. Nice. In addition to the two that we've already got, uh, I guess, hiding out in these buildings. Also, so from here, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. But I want this to be sort of like a little underground, um, community so there's gonna be like tents and stuff and maybe even some villagers under there so what i'm gonna do is this walkway here is gonna go um through the hill here and then there's still gonna be like this kind of su the support system to make it look like it's sort of holding up the the buildings above and i've already dug a little bit of a tunnel through here and it actually comes out in the perfect spot like if you see look at this this is perfect right beside the garage the parking garage, uh, underneath the F building, and there's going to be a massive little, oh, I shouldn't say massive, um, I guess like a five wide tunnel here with a little walkway along the side that you can walk through, but I'm thinking maybe an underground community, I think that'd be kind of fun, look at this guy, he wants some of this, hey, I saw you, let's start building this convenience store slash grocery store thing, so I've laid out the general uh, floor plan for it, but I'm not going to use these blocks anymore, I've changed my mind, I want to use the stone, the stone brick? The bricks. I want to use the bricks. They're, they're just called bricks, huh? You know what? That's just a, that's a realization. I've never noticed that before. And originally, I was planning on doing, like, two separate little stores, but I don't think it's big enough for two separate little stores. So I want one uh, larger store. So let's replace all these blocks here. Now, I'll, I'll eventually put some, like, differentiating blocks. Like, I'll throw in a couple of these guys, especially near the bottom. I'll throw in like a couple of these guys like this to make it look like the bricks are deteriorating. Deteriorating. I'm really good at this game and this language. <laughs> deteriorating. Um, but yeah, for now, let's just mark it off with the stone brick. We don't need that uh, divider in the middle either. So let's just go all the way back here. These things grew really, really nicely. Like this is a nice, nice flat area. So when I, when I take it down, it's going to look really good, I think, uh, along the, the back of this building. I might even like incorporate this he oh that happens okay well i don't have to do that anymore but anyway um let's go and uh, maybe we won't do the backs just yet because i'm trying to figure out how far into the water i should go and how i'm going to handle that i'll probably do like um like a walkway around or a support or something but for now let's just leave it like that okay looking good so far we're gonna have to have a step down here too, because um, this, I wanna put stuff like outside. You know how you go to like convenience stores and they always have like outside displays? I want that to be a, a thing here. And I can't do that if the slabs are um, the, on the top half of a block. So we're going bottom half of a block for these slabs and we're gonna run it all the way to the front door here, which will be right in the middle, but not only in the middle. I'm going to have, oh, wait a minute. Is this an odd? No, no, we're good. We're good. Behind here, we are going to have like sort of an indent. Oh, maybe this is where I should use like the stone brick. That actually might look really nice. Let's go like this. So it's kind of like inset and it's only going to be a one wide door. Oh, this is an, uh, let me expand 
I think I need to expand this bad boy one more block over. So let's go all the way like this. There we go. There we go. This is what I wanted. I wanted this to be sort of like uh, inset inside of the walls here. And then these walls will go up, 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 and across. So this is what the entrance looks like. It's going to be one single door. I think I'm going to replace a lot of these with smooth stone, actually, come to think of it. Do I have smooth stone handy here? Of course not. There. Much better. Now let's get that sidewalk added in here. I think we're also going to put, we're going to try to squeeze some items in here as well, uh, right by the uh, entrance. Maybe like an armor stand with uh, some clothes displayed. It's going to be like ratty older clothes because nobody has any money in this in this city um okay so that's good now how do we want to make this happen let me think here i think what i want to happen is i want this guy actually to go here all right so i think this is okay let's go like that yeah i think two forward might be a good thing like two blocks forward so it's kind of in line with this but it won't be in line actually because um i'm gonna put glass here and that's what we'll do right now we'll put some black stained glass here okay like that i love the black stained glass it gives it a more gloomy feel the the clear glass is just too clear i think i'm gonna change like the main building that i built the first one um wow i'm in a pit uh it has I think all clear glass or, or something like that, and I, I'm not a fan. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to change that. So let's go and do that. Okay. Now I think what we need is another layer of stone above it. And again, I'm gonna add like the little details. Uh, like I'm gonna sprinkle this in there every once in a while to make it look um, better. I kind of like this. I really really like this. The depth I have here to add stuff. Ooh, I'm excited about that. Okay. So now that we have that, we have to kind of, I guess, make it look a little bit more modern-ish. Because right now, it just looks like a regular store. So I love horizontal slab lines, if that makes any sense at all. So I think that looks good. We're going to go up this way as... Oh, I don't have enough blocks to... You know what? You know what? Luckily, Mojang has provided me with things for this exact occasion. Looking good, looking a little bit more futuristic. This is what I'm going for. I think I'm going to have to put like some bars across the front here to make it look like sort of like the gates are shutting or or like that these things close at night or something just for security purposes. Guys, Ito has requested a decked out trade for our artifacts. Should we do it? Let's find out. Hello, fellow decked outer. Hey, B first. How you doing? Um, I'm going pretty good. Wait, what's yeah. in your hand? Carrot. You want one? <laughs> I'm not sure why. I'm not, Have you ever on. seen these before? <laughs> I swear I've played this game before. For some They're reason, good. it was not registering in my ha in my mind. Like, what is that? <laughs> but it's yes, it is indeed for a nice check. golden an, carrot. An EYES check, beef. <laughs> um, all right, what do you want from me? You called me over here. What do you want from me? Yeah, so you have this a uh, very very valueless. Uh, Poison set common. Yeah, it's a common it's card. Hot. It is valueless. Already. You might want to get rid of that. Um, okay. Uh, I also have... Do you, do you need an end set common or an ocean set common? I got a couple duplicates. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Huh, okay. I'm going to have to see who might need one of those. Um, okay. Okay. So, a poison set common. Um, all right. I actually... Let me think. I'm pretty sure Grian is looking for one of my cards, and he wants to trade me a dragon card. So do you have any dragon Ooh. cards? I have an uncommon dragon. Uncommon dragon card? Okay, hold on a second. Uncommon. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, mine is common. Do I, wait, uh, nether, witch, nether. Yeah, I think, what does it look like? It's a, a nether star. Ooh, Ooh, it's all shiny beef. It's I all like shiny. it. I really like. Can I have it? Uh, well, you can't have it, but maybe we could trade <laughs> for it. Dang, you found my loophole. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good try, though. All right, here. I'll, I'll put it. Uh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, you trust me? I trust you. Look at that. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I just traded a common cheap? for an uncommon. I feel like I got the better deal here. You know what, beef? What? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be extra generous with you, even. What do you mean, extra generous? What are you talking Since about? Since you're helping me finish a set, I'm going to reward you. 
With what? With some coins. Oh, I helped you finish a set. Yeah. Oh, and wow. some beast bites beef. Some beast bites and coins? <gasps> yeah. You, you can bring the beast bites into the, the run with you and you can eat them and recover for health. I know. Amazing. How many coins did you have? I just, I had 38 and I just spent 20. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, you're oh I'm doing pretty good. And then oh, I have a uh, mystery box, didn't you? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. No, I just, I also just, um, got, I just traded in three, uh, loot finder cards for a loot finder Ooh. two card. And now I have resistance oh, one loot like finder it. two. I have two more loot finder one cards and then a beast sense card. So yeah, the loot finder Ooh. cards are piling up in my, in my deck. It's not a bad one to have. I know. I know. It's all about the loot. I'm going to put that right there. Oh man. Okay. So now Ooh. I have... Let me just move these around. I still haven't made a full set yet, but this is gonna be uh, this is gonna this is a good step. I appreciate the trade. Yeah, it worked out great for me. I bet it did. <laughs> you, might, you might need to trade with Mumbo to get that dragon unique, though. Oh really? Oh. Okay, okay. I'm gonna see who need who might need a uh, an ocean set common or an end set common. See who's uh, who's got a couple of those cards because I want to get rid of those. Yeah, you don't need those. Oh, you know about the artifact trade-in too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get to register your points. No, no, no. Over here. Like, if you get too many. Oh. You can exchange them beef over here. Wait, I thought that was... That... And you'll oh! get coins. Or you might get dungeon keys. Oh, I didn't know. I thought this was all for some reason. Oh, I thought this was like tier one, tier two, and tier three, but I guess it doesn't make sense if this is tier three. So luckily I did my exchange in the right <laughs> the right area. The artifact trade and give any artifact receive one yeah. coin or a chance for a dungeon key. Okay. I mean one coin uh Okay. Is that it's pretty good actually. Is it um, really? You got a one in nine chance of getting a dungeon key that way. Oh that's not bad. That's not terrible. Yeah, I've gotten a few that way. There's like one more dungeon key for sale here for 20 coins and and a oh and a challenge compass, which I was tempted to buy, oh, but the challenge compass. Ooh. I know, 15 coins. Well, thanks for the trade, Etho. I'm gonna start uh, reconning who might need a couple of these guys. All right. Thanks, Beef. Not a bad deal for either of us. I mean, I finished a set for him, um, but I mean, he gave me some extra stuff because he's a nice guy, and I and I don't mind finishing a set for Etho. I'm not really in it for the competition. I'm in it for the experience. Having said that, uh, I would like to trade in a couple sets. Anyway, so I did the top halves, and I'm thinking this guy needs a big old sign, just like the kind of like the not not just like the noodle the noodle um, shop sign, but kind of like the noodle shop sign where I use like end rods. It's very very challenging making signs this in this small a format because minecraft blocks are so big our lighting options are limited so um i i kind of like it though it kind of like brings out the creativity in me it forces creativity i have a pretty cool idea of what kind of sign to build in fact in fact let's uh one two three four five i think that's probably good if we do a five by five ish sign I think we're probably good. This is going to be called Steve's Cash and Carry or something like that. So let's start putting some stuff out in front. Um, We'll put like beehives because I don't want any bees here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you guys had to witness that. I really didn't want any bees here. See, there's some boxes in the corner there. Maybe we can even put like a smaller box looking thing from our mini blocks. Um, I wanted to do kind of like, um, kind of like a vegetable stand, like lettuce and stuff. That looks like lead. Oh, it's getting dark. I gotta sleep soon. But uh, it's gonna be kind of tricky with these bars here. I might have to eliminate the bar. So I wanted to do two t a two tier system. So one and then another one. So I think maybe we'll have to get rid of these bars. But that's okay. We'll see what it looks like afterwards. Maybe we don't like the two tier vegetable system. Um, pots. Get a pot in here. And then maybe a pot down on the floor. Oh, maybe the pot there with the other mini bot. I gotta, I gotta go sleep before this turns into a terrible situation. This is looking like a nice little grocery store. This is where everybody comes to get their stuff. Okay, we're gonna put a box there. This, I don't know what this is. What? Why am I? Why am I jumping constantly? Oh, I can't put one there, right? Because of that. Oh, I know what I could put here though. I know what I could put here. Boom. Okay. No. Like that, and then we'll put, uh, what should we put here for this, the dried kelp block? That's kind of weird that it 
we can do that, but let's let's do it. <laughs> uh, the dried kelp block is obviously a little gift of some sort. Maybe it's your local convenience store's counterfeit watches, because I know they sell a lot of those. I need an armor stand here. Everything is looking really, really good. I like this. Is it looking too cheery, though? Should we... Should we I mean, we have to grease it up a little bit. Do we have maybe some chains or something? I have a chest here that I could probably put uh, down there for another uh, box or something. I think maybe we put maybe we put some. We gotta grease it up somehow, or at least futuristicify it up. That's right. That's a word. Got the armor stand there with some really snazzy pants, and I put a chain here. I don't know why. I just put a chain here. I thought it would be useful for something. Um, it's looking okay, guys. It's looking okay. I'm a little bit... I mean, it's a little bit too bright and cheery for my liking, but you know what? I think maybe once we put the lighting in the back here, or at least, like, black these windows out or something, I feel like it'll probably look pretty good. What we do need, though, is that sign that I had the idea for. But before that, we have been summoned for another trade. Hello, Beef. How are you today, my friend? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Hey, by the way, have you uh, have you seen this, this box out here? I have seen that box, and I noticed that um, you're looking for some stuff. Yeah, if you got, if you got any, any charity, you know, please give. I mean, it would help me out a lot. Now, uh, are you looking for those items specifically, or any item at all? Just really like anything. It could be deck out related. Could be you know okay, okay. <laughs> food. Just or really rocket. anything. Here, I got something for you. Check that oh, out. Oh, thank you. Read wow. it. Oh. Read it. It's special. Carice crispy treats. It's yeah. Very nice. Carice, ca like Corrales. Yeah, is that from, crispy treats. Is that from the cookie store? The Corrales opened. No, it should be though. We're here to trade some things. Yes. Trade. Okay. So you actually want one of the items that I actually have a duplicate of. Yes, yes, the end common, I believe. The end right? common. I am more than happy to part ways with the end common. And you were, I think you said something about an enchanting common? Yes, I have an enchanting set common, which I believe you have an uncommon. So this is a I good do. trade for both of us, I exactly. think. Exactly. So. Boom, yours. Boom, there you are. Thank Fantastic. you, sir. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, my, my, my. My, uh, my collection. I mean, I, I feel like I need to just organize my collection a little more. You know, I got to pick one and go after it. Um, but right now, I think I've got like two of three or four sets already. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so you're, you're diversified, but you're waiting for that one unique, and now you can start to head toward exactly. that. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, I got like two oceans. I have two nethers. I have two dragons. Uh, and now I have two enchantings. So <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll get there eventually. Yeah. Yeah, I have faith, man. I have faith. Good trade, though. Thanks. That wasn't a bad trade either for us. I mean, I like that trade even better, to be honest. Here, this I'm, I am now in the process of building my sign. You guys are going to be amazed by this. Remember, the name of the shop is Steve's Cash and Carry, okay? Steve's Cash and Carry. Why? Well, because you get in here, you got some cash, and then you carry stuff out. Pretty self-explanatory if you ask me. I don't even know why you asked me why. Uh, oh, that's not a thing that I wanted to do. Let's go up this way. Good. So we've got... Okay, got I'm serious. You guys are... Uh, I mean, I've designed this off camera, and I think it looks really good. I mean, remember, we are very, very limited as to what we can do here. So um, don't expect too much, but I think it's going to look pretty good. Okay, so we got to put... Uh, this thing down here, Man, Minecraft really, or Mojang, I should say, really needs to come up with a solution for the inventory. We get more and more items, but we get the same amount of inventory space, and especially the same amount of hotbar space. Like, there's got to be something done here. Eventually, it's just going to get unmanageable. Okay, I think... I think I have completed it. Are you guys ready? Now, I'm going to give you guys a second to figure out what it is. Here, let me get this Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to give you guys a second. Okay, what does it look like? Guys, it's clearly Steve carrying some cash from Steve's Cash and Carry. Look, there's the head. There's the cyan-colored shirt, the blue pants, and then that little green thing is just him holding money. This is Steve's Cash and Carry. Now, should I leave the sign like this, or should I put something behind it? Like, should I put, like, a wall behind it or something? Let me try a wall and see what that looks like. Yee! I think I'm just going to leave it clear like that. I mean, I, I thought about using, like, a smooth stone or something. Like, something that isn't as detailed as andesite walls. But I feel like it still won't look very good. 
So I'm going to leave it like that. It's being supported by this bottom bracket here. Steve's Cash and Care. Now, this is a really, I love this shop. I mean, it's not done yet because I got to do the sides and the back and stuff. But I really, really love this shop. Oh, also, I added one of these things. And here is what the front of that store looks like with shaders on. Um, I like it. I like it. It's You can't really tell when you're looking down at it, but when you're over here, you can kind of see the sign a little bit better. Oh, this is so dangerous. We're going to attempt to have a quick fly around to look at all the things I put on the roof. Oh, yeah. The city's looking a lot more. I feel like I added a lot more visual interest to the tops of these buildings. Man, my render distance. Eesh. Eesh. Yeah, the tops of these buildings are looking a lot better with all this stuff on it. There's obviously still a couple, still a couple buildings, and still a couple things that I like to change. Like I don't really like the way that looks. I might like take that off and and um, elevate it and stuff. The fox sign is looking fantastic. The drones are looking great. Um, love these little uh, AC units everywhere. I mean, it's looking good, guys. The city is coming together nicely. We we now have Steve's cash and carry. At least the front of it. I'll build the rest of it off camera because. It's going to be boring anyway, but yeah, Steve's cash and carry looking awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here before something blows up and does a lot of damage. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, I started a new Skyblock series, so if you want to check that out, please feel free. I'm having fun with it so far. I'm going with a paradise theme, and so I'm building little tiny islands. Look at this guy. I'm building little tiny, tiny islands with spawners and stuff. Um, yeah, just having, a, just having a good time playing. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thanks, Green. See you next time. Bye-bye.